Hello newbies, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to hack a WebSocket first lab, call it manipulating WebSocket messages to exploit vulnerabilities. So guys, here we have an online shop that has a chat feature implemented using a WebSocket. So we will see how to exploit the WebSocket to run an alert GS function with the XSS attack. So guys, without further ado, let's go and hack. And here we go, guys. In case we are looking for a WebSocket vulnerability, so this is definitely will be a part of the live chat. So let me go in there. And here we go. Now we can see that we have a real time live chat. So let me say, Hello, I am Popo, but before sending it, let me activate Foxy Proxy. I'm using Community Edition, and here we go. Now let me go to the proxy. Let me enter spec twice, but in this case, I'm not going to HTTP history. I'm going to the WebSocket history, and let me send. And here we go. So as you can see, there's nothing appears in here, and this is absolutely normal because WebSocket either interact as HTTP history. So the first step to enter spec the WebSocket, I need to make the connection from my front side to the back end. And to do this, let me refresh the page. And here we go. Now I make the connection, as you can see, and now I'm able to interact the WebSocket history. And here we go, guys. So the first thing that I send this connection, as you can see, which means I'm ready to connect. And he sent these messages. And as you can see, the first one is came from me, say user is you and the content is hello popo. So it means that there is a database saving this information and then he send it to me. And as you can see, the direction is to client. So as I know, my mission is to trying to make a GS function, call it alert. I'm going to make XSS attack. So let's say image, then CRS. Let me create an error in here. Then let me use attribute, call it an error. And uh, let me try to make it like this, alert, and then alert. And then my message will be popo hacked you. And here we go. But before sending it, as I know that this is a JSON format, and we already have a double quotes and also I'm using it in here. So let me use slash in here and here we go. Now let me send. And now, as you can see, this is not even an image. It's just a string. So let me show the code to verify this thing. So let me go in here. Let me open this TD tag. And as you can see, guys, it looks like a string and not an image tag as the other one. And even the color is with a gray. It's exactly as you two points is a gray, which means it's a string, not a tag in here. So why this happened in here? First, let me go to my WebSocket history and see how the message sent from the client side to the server. And this is absolutely the one because we have this direction to the server. And as you can see, the message is a change it, or to be more clear, is encrypted to HTML code. So what I'm trying to do is to decrypt it so I can remove this HTML tags. So I have two ways to do this. I can just right click and send this one to repeater. I can do it from this side, or I can go to my proxy and go to my introspect and introspect the message from here. So I'm going to do it both of them and I'll show you how. So first, let me copy this one. Now let me paste it in here. Now let me open introspect on and let me send. And here we go. Now you can see it. It's already encrypted to HTML code. So let me change it. And here we go. Now it looks fine. Now let me forward it. So let me close introspect and here we go. So in case that this is a WebSocket, so this is a real time interaction, I don't need to refresh the page to see this alert. And as you can see it in here. So now let me see its code. And as you can see, now we have image icon and let me see it from this side. As you can see that this is a string, 
But in the other requests, with the manipulating the WebSocket, you can see it, it's integrated in the code, and now it's an HTML code in here. So guys, we successfully solved the lab, but before finish the video, let me show you how you can do it in repeater. So let me go to repeater, and here we go. Now you can note that even the interface in here is absolutely different than the usual one. So let me show you how it was looking. It was looking like this. We have a request, then we have a response, and we have interspecter. But in the WebSocket messages, it's absolutely different. Even the names is different. So we have send WebSocket message, not a request. We have this JSON format without a header, without any extra information. And we have this history tab, show us the directions and show us the content send it in real time. And here we go, guys. I hope that you learned something new from me. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video, and if you have any suggestion or have any comment, please put it in the comment below and stay tuned for the next videos.